Start of another game hunt. Brisbane tip shop, this is the archer field one, much closer to home. It doesn't look like there's that much of a line either, which fuck I'm thankful for. We were in line 30 minutes the other place and we've only got a few DVDs, so it's much nicer to just walk in because whether I find anything or not, at least I'm not wasting time. Hi Catherine. Well, nothing bad. Let's look at the DVDs. Cubes, like. Oh wait, more games. Ah! I bet this is empty too. Oh, one, two, three. Holy shit! Nice. Let's see if they'll just sell me the case of that. I'm sure I have a loose disc somewhere. The Tinkerbell ones? Yeah. I can't say I've ever seen them. I think Cinema Sickness really likes them. That's an amazing find if it's in there. Oh, damn. Boop. Catherine's not going to be able to carry all of this stuff. It took about 30 minutes to look through everything. And there's some good stuff I'm leaving behind, like Transformers, Howl's Moving Castle, this Lord of the Rings set. Side of their scratch or I don't need them, but I am picking up a ton. And Catherine's picking up a ton. Although she's also holding my stuff. Alright, next stop of the day, a bike. Uh, Catherine found this rabbit she wants to show everyone. It's the lint rabbit. She likes it, she's gonna give it to the cat, I think. Lifeline Superstore. This store usually sucks, but it's in the area. And there's a salver is right down there, so let's get out of the car and check it out. It's getting hot already. They sell everything in this store. Furniture, toys, bedding. Where's the DVDs at? I... Oh, there they are. I don't know if they have any games in the lot, but... We'll look through the DVDs and see if we find anything. Uh... Oh, yeah. I do find it's worth looking through the different sections here though. I have found really cool stuff before here, like the Metal Gear Solid soundtrack I found. I found a Dreamcast for 30 bucks here once, so it's worth looking around. It's nothing yet. What the? I'm not touching that. Oh, it's a lava lamp. I, uh. No. This is kind of cool. Pokemon card battling game, but look at the price. It's hard to see. 150 bucks. That, that's a lot of money. Hey, Catherine. I bet I'm gonna need a microscope to find a good deal in this place. Uh, nothing in that lifeline as you saw, it was just a few cool things but way too expensive. Let's hope this uh, big salvo store, this clearance store has something. Uh, this place always has two dollar clothes but I don't look for clothes, I look for things other than clothes. Remember last week High price Lego, I guess everyone's pricing Lego high these days. They've got some cool stuff like this prisoner set. Oh, these Neon Genesis Evangelion DVDs. These would be worth picking up if there was a whole set though. They find this which is pretty cool. Look babe. This is so awesome. I mean, people let me know if I should be picking this up. Gone with the wind, like a, a poster. <laughs> it's just really cool. I remember the DVD was worth like 80 bucks this time last year, but now it's worthless. I bought it. Alright, next up. Pretty rare stuff for me. Cash converters in Maruka, but I have something to pick up here. There's really not a lot here. It's more of a 
buys and loans kind of store, but they do sell a little bit. Not really enough for me to ever usually come here unless I have a reason though. So I uh, picked up what I needed to pick up from cash converters and we'll check out the salvos and that might be our last stop for the day. DVDs front and center, right in front of the shop. Hey Disney Infinity, that's junk. I'll put them to the side babe, so they're not blocking other things. games. Cowboy Beeper. I think they're all on Netflix now. Astro Boy. It's cool but I don't know if I need anything. I'm about to get everything in this place for free. Yeah. Another day Catherine and I are in the Kapalaba area. It's pretty cloudy out although there is some blue over there. So the video is going to be a little washed out unfortunately. But we're going to a few up shops. This one is the Link Vision here. Uh, very hit or miss. I think it's like the only Link Vision still around in Brisbane. I have no idea if there are any others. Let's take the stairs. Old DVDs, one dollar on this table. <laughs> it's a face. It was a bit stupid. The Thing remake. Wow, FIFA 15 preview DVD. Wow, how the game was made. I might buy that and upload it. Are you sure this is the remake? Nightmare at Bitter Creek. I wonder what that is. Hmm. Wow, they are cleaned out. Hardly anything. <laughs> Guess I'll look at the games. Is that a game? I guess so. Yeah, really nothing. A couple of junk DS titles. What? Twelve dollars. They're dreaming. It's like a two dollar game. Oh well. These used to be really good. Ten bucks? Uh, not that good. Yeah, this place can be very expensive. Well, unfortunately we didn't find anything at the Link Vision. Uh, there's a joke in there about not finding something at Link Vision, but I'm not gonna make it. Let's go to Cash Converter, see what they have. jumping out at me. This would be a good find case is messed up. So I gotta pass on that. Other than that, just nothing amazing. Some fun stuff, but stuff I have. So there are a couple of things in that cash converters I wanted. Uh, nothing video game wise, but a few DVDs I want to watch. Uh, we're going to Footprints, the thrift shop. I'm pretty sure this is affiliated with Lifeline. They have the same kind of, uh, that guy's gonna go over the curb. Up or not. They have the same kind of like price tags. But we'll see. See if they have anything I want. So this place is packed. That's pretty cool. I wonder how much they want for these. 
We'll have a look through, see what they have. This is a really cool find. The new Twilight Zone, but at $10, I don't know. So I actually went to the show that this is from, 2009 Raw, the Brisbane Exhibition Center. Ooh. This one's coming apart, so I don't think I'm gonna grab it, but it's cool to see. You don't see him very often. Fun fact, this is the store where I found the little crazy frog plush. I sold for forty dollars. Got a few things to grab. Maybe. So I just saw something that's really cool. Monster. Volume 12. This is a really good uh, series. I don't know if like all of them. I'd love to read them all again. Yeah, they're, they're really really good. Good murder mystery. Alright, there were a few finds in that last one, uh, not as much as I was hoping to find considering how overflowing flowing the uh, the shelves were, but we have one more stop here, the Salvos. Last time I was in here I found a couple of, uh, I found that Switch game and a sealed PS4 game and a DVD set that I sold for $40, so we'll see if they have anything as good. And babe, that last place we were in, that's the place I found that crazy frog. Yeah, and we sold it for 40 bucks. So let's see if this store has anything, anything close to as good as that would be a great score. Any sealed Switch games, babe? Oh no, it was a sealed PS4 game and a Switch game. I'd be fine with that too. It's a cool release. The snapper case. Well, they don't have any Switch games, but they do have FIFAs. Good deal, two bucks. I love seeing these. Just VHS. This looks so good. You can tell they put a lot of effort into this. Looks really classy. I guess they would have to. Back in the day, these would cost a lot of money. Wow. Wow. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, found him. Alright, that's gonna do it. Nothing incredible, but I think that's about a $20 DVD. Go to the pickup recap and see what we've got. It's clearing up a bit. Might go to the beach. Beach? Yeah. Alright, I really want to try and power through these pickups just to get the video made and uploaded. Hi, Catherine. 7 KFC. There's our cat. It looked over. Alright, first up from the op shop nearest me, uh, Vinny's in Corinda. I usually don't find a lot there. But they have had some good DVDs lately. They've been slowly filtering out some video games and I found a DS game and as I took it up to the counter it was only a dollar. The guy at the counter told me oh I actually have a bunch more in the back do you, do you want me to bring them out and I said uh, yeah of course. And I was expecting oh yeah this is gonna be it Mario, Zelda, Pokemon Soul Silver. <laughs> Heart gold, the poker walkers. Instead he brought out these. They were only a dollar each, I figured. He was nice enough to bring them out for me. I'm just gonna buy them for the cases. They're a dollar each. Moshi Monsters Theme Park. Pratt Super Babies. All-star cheerleaders. There's no winners here, folks. My baby girl, the only winner is that all of the cases are in good shape. Junior Brain Trainer 2. Junior Brain Trainer, this is the one I originally found for a dollar. I think a few of these trade into CEX for around the four dollar mark, so I might take them there, I don't know. Pony Friends. 
uh, Moshi Monsters, Mushroom Zoo, and Pets Fantasy. So, not a good lot of games at all, but the guy was nice enough to bring them out for me, so I thought just for that, I'll just buy them. Alright, let's get some stuff that you saw in the game hunting. Actually, no, we'll start off with some stuff outside of game hunting. I do go to the Goodner area about once a week. And I usually don't find a whole lot there. There's just... I don't know if there's a ton of competition or what, but I usually just don't find a whole lot in the area. This time when I went in, I found stuff at almost every store I went into. There was one store there that was closing down, like, I think it's called Central Pawn Brokers in Goodna, but they're like, they're 100 meters as the bird flies from cash converters. I'm sorry to the place, but they were never going to last. You're too close to your biggest competition. It's, it's, it's just stupid. I remember the Pennywise stores used to do that as well. They'd set up shop like two stores down from cash converters, and then it's like, well, of course you're not doing as well as cash converters. Well, speaking of cash converters, I bought one thing there, just a DVD. For two dollars, we have Joey. It's a uh, rare out of print. I do wish it was the Australian version, but I want to watch this myself. So, man, this video quality is really bad. Hold on. The video always seems really bad unless I do like the zoomed in thing. But I usually don't like doing the zoomed in thing. But there we go, Joey. There's two bucks. It's worth about twenty. It's not in the best condition, but I want to watch it. After that, went to an up shop, the uh, Salvation Army family store in the area. Get this stuff off of here. And we found these. Always pick these up if you see them. Sony High Fidelity tapes. Uh, four pack here. They were only a dollar. I thought, well, pff, for a dollar, I'm definitely picking them up. I've got them list listed up for twenty dollars with a. Uh, Five dollars shipping if anybody wants them, and they will sell quick because people are always buying them. I also picked up Gone with the Wind from there. I remember when this was like eighty bucks. Now it's worthless, but I thought I'd buy it on the off chance that it might become worth something again. We'll see. It was only a dollar, and the rest of these finds were at the Pennywise store. Stuff all. The movies, then we'll show a couple of games at the end. So the movies here were 50% off, so they're like 50 cents each. Uh, Flesh Collectors, Guy Crawford film, huh? Uh, the Shining, this one is rare out of print, worth about $30. Pretty good too, it's uh, much closer to what the book is, but uh, The Shining movie from 1980 is a better movie. Armor of God, these are... Hong Kong feature movies with Jackie Chan are always worth picking up. They're always 15 to 20, no matter what they are. I'm currently watching this one. You saw it on the laptop. 13th Child, Legend of the Jersey Devil. Uh, never heard of it, but it's a horror movie. Uh, Jack Frost 2, which is worth something. I need to check the disc on this one. It is a ex-blockbuster rental, but it is... Uh... A lot of finger smudges, but otherwise pretty good. I think the first movie of this is worth a lot of money from memory. And Core, cool, about killer birds. I'm sure it's no bird demic, but we'll give it a watch and see how it is. They were 50 cents each, so I was like, hell, why not? A few movies to watch. This one was worth picking up. I'll sell this very easy for about the... Maybe $20, maybe 25 on a good day. Heretic 2, Wicked 3D Action Fantasy. I love, love, love this game. It's like Doom, but with a more, uh, like, magic and stuff. It's really, really cool. Uh, this was marked down 50 cents as well. It's all in there. You don't need an install code for this one. It just installs automatically. I had this on my really early PC. Like, my brother must have bought it and installed it for himself. I don't know. And a Switch game here for... 
So no 50% off this one, unfortunately, but for... 495 for a Nintendo Switch game. We have Flashback here. Uh, this is the American version. In Australia, we got Flashback and... Um, what was the other one? There's two games that came in a set. There was Flashback and something else, but... Uh, fun fact, Flashback was the first Mega Drive game I bought when I originally started getting into retro game collecting. Hey, the cat's killing something. There she goes. Kill it! Oh, it's gone. But yeah, this was one of the first games I grabbed when I started getting into retro gaming collection back in like... 2010 I think I just I discovered all of these old games and I thought well I have all of the ROMs and I find the games every now and again Let, let's just get them this was one of the first ones I bought flashback the quest for identity I think was the subtitle no manual but 495 I'm not gonna pass up any switch game for 495 she's getting it she's killing it it'll be dead soon maybe I should be filming over here she, she got it Get it, cat. Mess it up. Alright, no more of that cat. People aren't here for that. <laughs> we'll do get to the game hunting now. You saw that I uh, went game hunting in the Kapalabar area. I found some stuff there. Not a whole lot. I would not say I found cricket fans slipping on anything, really. But I'm sure he found a lot better stuff if he was able to find anything. Nothing at the Link Vision. There rarely is, man. Link Vision sucks. But at the Cash Converters, we found three DVDs. They were marked down to a dollar each because of the uh, orange tag. We have Rocco's Modern Life, Season 1, 2, and 3. I'll try and sell these as a set after I watch them. They are Region 1, but I don't ever find that region locked movies are a big problem for selling i sell them just fine and people can watch them just fine i think most people watch dvds and stuff on their laptops these days and like as long as you have vlc media player everything works uh, we'll go to uh, yeah the salvos and Kapalabar. just the one thing from there no switch games this time but scion's wedding we'll I have no idea how to pronounce it. I've never seen this movie. It's like a uh, Maori comedy. Uh, the, the case isn't the best on this. I think it has some water damage. Might open it up. Hate. Hate this. Yeah, the case has a little bit of water damage. Yeah, you can see it there, so I'll have to list it for a little bit less. But two dollars for this was worth picking up. No. And funny enough, I actually found another copy of this just at the store next door. The Op Shop uh, Footprints or whatever it's called. I don't even know what charity they support. Why does every store in Kapalabar steal them up? I know why they do it, because people in Kapalabar are thieves. Eh. There we go. What's she looking for, babe? <laughs> she she batted it over. She 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 was looking at it. Yeah, and then she forgets where she puts it, and then she comes up to me and meows for it. <laughs> yeah. There we go. She owns wedding. That was a dollar at that store. Much better condition. I grabbed this for myself. Tony Hawk's Downhill Jam, two bucks, I thought. It's a Wii game I don't have, it's worth about 15. The disc is, it's alright, it's not minty, but it looks fine. It looks fun, it looks like the first level in Sonic Adventure 2, but a whole game. Uh, these uh, were... the toilet in the bathroom was closed. Oh. Well, go open it for her. I also found these. These were five dollars each. They're taped together, so I thought it was five dollars for the pack. But then when she tore them apart, there was five dollars written on each of them. But it's still a good deal for them, and I guess it supports a charity, even if I don't know what the charity is. 
We have the Star Wars Blu-rays here. I'll probably give these a watch before I sell them on. This one's pretty good. The only thing of this one is a crack in that case. See it like that. I've got a spare case I can throw it in. That cat, after she poops, she will run out of the toilet. Like, she drops the bomb and then she runs before it blows up. And the second trilogy here, or the first trilogy, uh, this would have been a really cool find, but I actually can't open it. I don't know if these things are exclusive to Australia, but we have these security locks that some DVD stores used to have, and you, you had they have to unlock it before they give it to you. But sometimes they would forget, and then you would just have a locked movie. You could take it back to unlock it, but... Obviously, I don't even know where I'd do this now. Maybe the library? I think the library still uses these things, so I might be able to get it unlocked there. But what a hassle. Alright, I don't think I got any footage in this store, but... This was at the Salvation Army in Jindalee. We found some movies and some games. We'll start with the movies. I grabbed this to upload to YouTube. UWF Tag Team Madness. This is awesome. I can't believe they would sell DVDs that were only 50 minutes long. This was probably really expensive when it came out too. I remember UWF. It was a really bad promotion. I think Herb Abrams run, ran it and he would... I think Herb Abrams ended up, like, killing himself or something. This was a really good find. For only one dollar. Demon City Shinjuku. I'd love to visit Shinjuku. I think it's just east of Tokyo. From memory. This is still brand new sealed. The last brand new sealed copy of this sold for $40. So I am definitely going to make some good money on this. I will probably watch it online, though. Because I can just look up any... Any anime or movie online really and just watch it but it is nice to get a dvd and then watch something you know uh, from the director of ninja scroll and rick wicked city sounds good uh joyride it looks to be worth something the disc looks really weird like the disc looks like a straight blue bootleg but it could just be like a really Really low budget release. I don't know. It's got Toby Maguire in it. And Best of Sports Bloopers. This was only a dollar. I can probably sell it online for like 10, 12. It just looked pretty cool. No copies for sale in Australia. That's why I picked it up. Yeah, you can buy this from America, but it's like 50 bucks to ship it here, which is stupid. And a few games. Uh, two ones that aren't anything special. A couple of Wii games for a dollar each. I didn't have Wii Play, so I will add this to my collection. I want to know why something like Wii Sports Resort and like... I want to know why, uh... What's that one? I, I can see the cover. There's like one of these random compilation games that's worth a ton of money and it's just... It doesn't make any sense to me why all the others are worthless and that one is worth something but here we go six dollars marked down to a dollar i thought yeah why not and ea active personal trainer this will be a straight replacement case i always figure a dollar 50 cents to a dollar for a really good replacement case is worth it to me and i got this alice madness i was gonna say madness returns but no it is just american mcgee's alice on PC, I always get like $25 for these. Always, always, always. How is the disc on this one? Oh, that's Minty Mac. Minty Mac. The shame about the case, like oh, up here it's a bit messed up, but it'll be fine to sell. And yeah, they're all a dollar each. Okay, so let's get to like the big pile over there. So the first thing I'll show here is this Gone with the Wind movie poster. 
I guess I have this listed uh, locally. I'm hoping to get like 25 for it, but I don't know. We'll see. Hasn't sold yet. If it doesn't sell, I can just hang it on my light switch. Yep, maybe not. There. Yeah. Okay, and let's just go through the absurd amount of media I got. These two were from uh, Salvation Army in Archerfield. Uh, the Beast from 20,000 Fathoms. Uh, it, it's worth a little bit. But I just want to sit down and watch it. It should be a really good watch. It's a really good old movie. Old monster movie. And Rocket Power Season 1, which I'm hoping to get like uh, maybe 12 to 15 for. It was only like a couple bucks, so brand new sealed. They're having a lot of good luck with DVDs, especially when they're brand new and sealed. Okay, and the rest of this is all from the tip shop. So let's get through it. These were $1 per disc, except for this one, which was unfortunately $10, but it is Grand Theft Auto V. Now, what the hell are you doing spending grand? Spending $10 on a copy of Grand Theft Auto V? Well, this one is brand new factory sealed. That was definitely worth it. So this one is worth more like 35, maybe 40 online. So I definitely was going to pick that up. Uh, we'll put it over here to keep it safe. They had a bunch of like really cool, like very limited collector's edition DVD sets. They might still have them there. I want to get some footage film of them. But they were just too expensive. They had like this really cool version of E.T., I didn't look at the big box sets, but they were just like big box sets for single DVDs. And they had uh, E.T., I think they had Artificial Intelligence, they had uh, Back to the Future. Some really cool stuff, but they had them priced on like, I assume what they would go for. Like the big E.T. set was like 70 bucks, and I just can't spend that. But I can spend a dollar a disc. I have Police Squad, the complete series. I'll get about 20 bucks for that. Very easy sell, as is this Whale Rider. Always get maybe 12 15 for this one. Two disc set, it comes with a uh, special movie, Cracker Bag. I might look that one up. I'm not sure if I've ever seen this with Cracker Bag before. Akira, one I want to watch. I actually had the chance the day, the night before Valentine's Day, to go and see this like a 4K restoration in the cinema at a local museum, but I just, I couldn't, it started at like 9 p.m. and finished at midnight, and I was like, dude, I can't do that the day before Valentine's Day, my wife would kill me, <laughs> yeah, she doesn't want to go out and watch that stuff, Evil Dead 2, Dead by Dawn, I don't think it's worth anything, it's just cool, I didn't have Evil Dead, I haven't watched it in years and years, uh, the Collector? I think this one was worth a little bit, but not a great amount. Disc on that one is... Whoa. Well, that's not gonna work. <laughs> that's why I check them all, folks. <laughs> I checked all the DVDs except, like, this one, and it's the one that has a crack in it, so... I guess that's a spare case. Star Wars Ewoks... I'm going to have to check the DVDs on all of these now. <laughs> I think I checked a few of them, but I just didn't check all of them. I've sold this in the past for like $20. I think in good condition it goes for a bit more. Uh, this just has some finger smudges on it. Otherwise, it's really good. There's no scratches. It's in much better condition than the other copy I sold as well. The other one was like proper beat up. Death Valley Season 1 Uncensored. This is brand new sealed. It's not worth anything. I just... Thought it looked fun. Horror, violence, blood and gore. It's like cops versus zombies. <laughs> Sounds fun. Uh, they? I, I think I've seen this before, but ages and ages ago. I don't really remember it. It's only a dollar. I'm not sure why they had the Japanese artwork on this, but My Neighbor, the Yamadas. This is a really good uh, Studio Ghibli movie. Much different from their other ones, but... It definitely still does have that Ghibli feel. I think this one was a TV movie from Civic Video, huh? Yeah, pretty minty. I'm pretty sure all of these came with like reversible artwork. Yeah, they did. So that means they probably put this in like a generic case. Yeah, you can. I guess I can see why they switched it out because this one doesn't have the uh, 
the video rental stickers on it. Uh, the time game, brand new and sealed. Travel back in time to uncover the truth. Truth. I think I looked this up and saw it was an Australian movie, so I wanted to see if I could upload it online. I am still looking for just any Australian movie that I can upload. I think it's good to archive these things. Uh, near Dark, this one just looks cool. High level horror violence, just that sounds good to me, brother. Only a dollar. Catherine found this, The Last Unicorn. This is worth a good amount. 25 to 30 all the time. This gives please some light scratches. You can take that to the guy and uh, get it cleaned up. And then it'll be 25 to 30, but she wants to watch it first. And this was... I'll show these two. Uh, 24 hour party people, I just want to watch it, it looks fun. Not worth anything. And definitely not worth anything, but Australian coat lines. A snapshot of the long distance bus industry. It, it sounds kind of stupid, but... I really enjoy these kind of mundane slice of life things from Australia. Oh, probably was in an op shop at some point, but I got it for a dollar. Brand new sealed. I guess no one wanted to watch it. See if anyone on YouTube wants to watch it. Alright, this was all the good stuff. Dogma. Always $35, $40. I've sold copies of this for $39.99 before. Oh, this one is in not great condition at all, but we'll go and get that cleaned up and then we will sell it. I did have a copy of this in the past that a guy complained about because I sent it in a black case instead of a clear case. It was the same version of the movie. Like It was Dogma the widescreen release. Yeah, exactly the same, except he thought he was getting it in a clear case, not a black case, and he freaked out and tried to get his money back, but eBay sided with me on it, so fuck that dude. Uh, speaking of which, Bad Taste, from the director of Lord of the Rings, a Peter Jackson film. I wonder if he's the same dude that does the cigarettes. I already know the answer, people. It's an old joke. I saw this one years and years ago on like public access television. They had like a uh, thing where they would show old cult movies. Oh, disc is mint, mint, mint. Warning: People of a weak disposition should not watch this feature. That's funny. Yeah, I saw like the very end credits of, of the very ending of this, where like they're on the cliff, and like the dude's head goes weird. I, I searched for the movie for years and eventually I figured out it was bad taste. Apparently someone paid nineteen ninety five for this at Borders and Garden City in 2011. Wow. Ten years ago. I say almost ten years to the day, third of the second. Wow. That's kind of amazing. But yeah, bad taste. I don't think it's worth a lot. It, it's under $20 these days, but it, it is just a really good movie. It's it's one that I haven't watched in full in a long time, but it, it is really fun. We're coming on the really good stuff now, folks. Repo Man, uh, Masters of Cinema release, number 27. Oh, this is a Blu-ray from uh, the UK that was like, exclusive I'm not sure how exclusive some of these were like it might be like some of the arrow video releases where it says exclusive has all this stuff but it's just not like it, it gets a very wide release I have no idea but I just thought I mean it was a dollar I'm not gonna leave something like that behind for a dollar like they, they very clearly put a lot of effort into this I have no idea what it is I actually can't watch it because Blu-ray region locking is pretty... This is mint, by the way. Blu-ray region locking is pretty annoying to try and get around. Like, you kind of need a region-free player or you can't watch them. Like, I can't just put this in my PS3 and my PS3 will reject it, which is kind of insane because the PS3 is region-free itself, except for Blu-rays. But yeah, I, uh, I, I've never seen this movie. I have no idea what it's about, but... Anything from this kind of release, I'll pick up for a dollar.
honestly. It's really cool. Easily the best DVD find of, of the week. And possibly of a long, long time. We have Immortal Combat here. This is a movie with Roddy Piper and Sonny Shiba. It's a DVD copy. I'd say it's in good condition for its age. You know, these old cardboard releases, they're very rare to see. Most people just kept this. They, they, they never even kept this. They definitely didn't keep the little foam bit in there. So to find it in the cardboard at all is a very, very rare thing. Like this was one of this would have been one of like one of the first DVD releases, man. One of the ones you could play back on your Windows 95 computer, which is fucking insane. That's a long time ago, 25 years. So yeah, Mortal Kombat with Roddy Piper back when he was in WCW, I think. It's kinda weird, this like this disc is so old, it's got a a little bit of disc rod on it, like, it's not bad, I can actually just, like, get it off with my finger, but it, it, it's starting. A lot of discs are gonna go the way of dinosaurs, folks. If you don't take care of them right. But yeah, this, this is just a really cool find. I think in, like, perfect condition, they go for about a hundred dollars, but I have no idea how I'd price this one. Maybe in like the eighty dollar range, but it is just a really, really cool find. I've I've seen releases like this before, but it's very, very rare. Very rare, especially the fine one for good condition disc. And the disc on this one is mint, except for like those. It's not really disc rod; it's just like smudges and shit. If you can wipe it off with your finger, it's not rotten. Actually, forgot to grab these. <laughs> they also had a copy of Left 4 Dead 2. This was three dollars, I think. Yeah, good condition. Disc is uh, minty. Yeah, disc is mint. These are always a very quick, like twenty dollars. Alright, we'll show the last DVD. This was also a very good find. Uh, this was $11, which is usually a bit more than I'd like to pay, even for like a big set like this, but it does sell online for about... Like, I think the last sold copy was $50 plus shipping, but copies before that were selling for 100 bucks. you know. It is The World at War, the Ultimate Restored Edition. I'd be lying if I said I planned to watch this before I sent it. I'm not super knowledgeable on World War Two. I know on the part of the Nazis it was pretty much unwinnable and history's kind of rewritten it that way, but that doesn't mean they were the good guys, you know? <laughs> they, they were just kind of stupid. Let's attack Russia in the wintertime. Yeah, this is 2,082 minutes long. Holy crap. Let me figure that out. How many hour how many minutes are in a day? Like sixty times ten is six hundred, so six hundred uh, twelve hundred twelve hundred twelve sixty thirteen twenty I'm gonna get some bad maths. Thirteen eighty fourteen fourteen thirty fourteen forty. So 1440 minutes in a day and uh, this is 2082 so it's like a day and a half worth of dvds if you just left them on in like some machine that would swap them out holy crap and yeah all the discs are in there all the discs are mint i know no one cares this is a stupid dvd release that no one would care about I don't even know if people really care about the war. Like, I know, like, there are, like, huge World War II historians out there, but I think it, it is important to know about World War II. It is, like, the biggest culture-shaping thing we have to go on in the last hundred or so years. 
All right, that's it for DVDs. No more black pills. Let's let's show some games. Ah, oh, this was three bucks. Grand Theft Auto: The Trilogy for Xbox. Uh, fancy game traders selling something in this shitter condition for fifty bucks. Uh, that that's very much like them. I'm sure it was like this when they got it. I bought this for three dollars, but it is just trashed. You know, Grand Theft Auto Three. You know the disc on this one is actually pretty minty. I guess because they didn't play it much. Doesn't have the manual. I already have this in a much better condition. Grand Theft Auto Vice City. This one has the manual, although the disc is in worse condition on this one. So go figure. And then Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, which is the most unfortunate one. This thing is a hockey puck. This Aww. thing is super scratched up. Such a shame. Yeah. Like this, one, one. this one didn't have the manual either. You think it's the best? Yeah, it's pretty good. I, I like Vice City. I never really played that one. I never played I just... It. I like the music. Oh. <laughs> Um, the game, the not like you have a. Can I finish my video and we can talk? It's a really good trilogy. Uh, I have one thing left to show, babe. <laughs> People already hate long videos. I agree with you. It's a great game. All right, this one was four dollars. I don't know why this one was four dollars and everything else was the blanket pricing, but I don't care. This was worth four dollars. This was worth double that. This is worth well, not ten. Oh yeah, it is worth ten times that. <laughs> Look, yeah, let's just show it. The Lord of the Rings: The Battle for Middle Earth Two Expansion Pack, The Rise of the Witch King. I was searching all over this tip shop. I asked them there, "Do you have any more Lord of the Rings Battle for Middle Earth stuff?" Because this stuff is just. It's super hot, it always is. It sells for so much. Like this is a one hundred dollar DVDs. One hundred dollar DLC pack. You know, it, it's insane how much this stuff sells for. It's all in there. Yeah, the manual's in good condition. Unfortunately the disc's a hockey puck. Ah, it's okay. I'll take it to my guy. None of these scratches are super deep, thankfully, so he should be able to just buff them all out. It's been a while since I've been to the Cash King, but that is the guy that buffs my discs for a dollar each. And that is it. That is all they wrote, folks. We got a lot of stuff this week. A lot of, like, garbage, but there's some really good stuff in there, too. I'm really getting back into the spirit of game hunting. I'm just finding it fun. You know, I'm definitely making a lot more than I'm spending, and I kind of like the new eBay payment system where they just pay you straight into your account, your bank account, instead of going through PayPal. It means that like almost every day I'm seeing the profits coming in, and like I'll just get like every day 80 bucks, 50 bucks, 120 bucks just popped into my account. It's really nice. Yeah, that is everything, folks. Uh, I hope you guys found some good stuff as well. Let me know down in the comments if you found any good stuff, and I will let you guys go. See you in my house. Bid you guys farewell. Holy crap, it's nighttime now. Bye!